Hello everyone, welcome to Public Health Volunteers. My name is Yusuf Mustafa Karkarna and today I want to show you or I want to tell you how I manage my mild sickle cell crisis. So I have done few episodes on sickle cell disease. As a, I started it as a series, I have two videos of which I will put them here and in the link in the description so you can go ahead and check them. The first video is about how the effect a red blood a sickle red blood cell have in the bloodstream and the second video is the sickle cell tree of how people inherit sickle cell disease or the possible combination of inheriting sickle cell disease so if you want if you are interested in that you can check the link below and you and the pop up shows you can see the whole series there Okay, moving on. The first thing is I I normally get joint pain, back pain, and chest pain as my frequent mild sickle cell crisis. So I'm going to show you how to manage them or how I manage them. So don't take this as a excuse not to see your doctor when you are having a sickle cell crisis or when you are having a severe sickle cell crisis. This is just how I did mine. Or how I'm how I'm doing mine and how it helps me carry out my day-to-day -day activity without getting hospitalized or losing on school work and all and other activities that I have or I'm doing the first thing is the joint pain so with joint pain I use knee and ankle pad and elbow pad so I have this is knee pad that I use this ones I think they are about in Nigerian money about 500 naira and in UK's money about 10 pounds or 5 pounds so it is not up to 5 pounds it's about 3 or 4 pounds I haven't bought it I bought this from Nigeria my brother brought it to me so I don't know how much it costs in the UK or they have they, they may have similar knee part like this but this is from Nigeria so this is about 500 naira in Nigeria and this one is about I think 300 naira so this is the elbow I use it as an elbow pad but some people use it as a ankle pad on their legs so let me show you how I did it I will put it this way I haven't used this one I have I have another one at home so this one is a little bit tight at, since I have never used it before so it's a bit of a challenge for it to go in so this is how it goes for me it helps it helps with the with the joint reduce the pain I normally get so I think the main reason why people are having like joint pain chest syndrome or chest pain and back pain is people with skull cell disease have more their their blood vessels can be blocked due to the sickle red blood cell so because of that when that blockage happens it blocks the flow of blood in the in that particular area which cause pain and start or initiate skull cell crisis so with this one i think it helps like help the muscles or tighten up the muscles to prevent blockage or for me personally how i believe is it unblocked or prevent the red cells from causing blockage in the bloodstream because it's tight it is very tight as you can see so i try i try to use these ones when i'm having sickle cell crisis and let's say i have lecture or I'm going out with friends or, and I don't want to stay at home or in bed the whole day so I normally use this it helps a lot by the end of the day I don't the the, the joint pain or whatever it goes or it just disappeared and let me remove it this one is the one in the knee well this one you can use it on your on your ankles I have I don't I don't get ankle pains 
I say ankle. <laughs> you have to excuse my pronunciations, but I don't use it on my leg. I only use it on my hands. And when you wear this and you put long sleep, no one will notice you are having sickle cell crisis or you are you are using it in the first place. So if you are into passion and you don't want to, you want to hide it, you can just wear long sleep and you will be okay. You can roam around and everything. This one too, you can use long, long trousers and you will cover it up when you wear it. I cannot show you how to put this because I am not at home so it's the same thing you will just put it on your on your leg from just put it and it tightens the joint pain and it help it, it doesn't affect your mobility first first of all so it just tighten the muscles of the joint and helps pre, helps reduce the pain or the amount of pain you are experiencing another another thing is I use okay another thing is i use this this part they, they call it mini part they call it mini part so this one i use it to i normally put it on my back <laughs> okay so this one helps a lot because you will this plus sign you will click on the plus sign you will hold it for about five seconds and it will on itself and it will start it keeps like a shock or a vibration and you you are going to remove this let me see if i can remove it yeah i can so you are going to remove it like this and it has it is a little bit sticky and you you will stick it to your back it when you are removing it it will not like stick to your back and the moment you remove it you won't even feel the there is no residue of this of the glue or whatever this is perfectly it is perfectly fine so don't don't worry about like sticking it and when you want to remove it and the the glue remain on your back it doesn't happen well it has never happened to me i don't think it happens and this one i think it is reusable you you can use it up to about three times or four times and when you when when you are done using it, this the the sticky part of it, you can remove it and replace it. So it is replaceable. You can use it, I think, advisably if you use it for like, if you are using it frequently and you have been changing the part, you should, maybe after six months, you should buy a new one. And it comes with, with like a, that big battery. So you will use like a penny like 50 pence or one pound coin and you will use it to remove it or you can use screwdriver anyways you will you will replace the battery from maybe every two use or three use and another another one i use and also you can use this on your chest it's not advisable if you're under 18 and it's not advisable to go beyond to level two of it it has i think about five levels or six levels so if you you can use it maybe one level or two level because with your chest you it a bit chakra <laughs> so it's not advisable for, I, I will not advise you to use it on your chest but it is helpful if you are having a chest pain it helps with it, it helps me and i normally use it at level five out of sorry level three out of five or oh, I don't know I think it's up to level five the maximum level for the intensity of the is it a vibration or something it's like a it's vibrating I think it helps get the the veins or the muscles loose and maybe it helps unblock the <laughs> the veins that get blocked due to the sickle cell crisis or the, the red skull cell and okay moving on to another one is this this one i bought it online okay i didn't tell you the price of this the price i don't know if they have it in nigeria but here is about 10 pounds or 8 pounds I, I can't remember 
and this one I bought it online I bought it about this is very cheap about five pounds and it comes with a bunch of wires and I think four part with it made in China so the quality may not be I don't know it's up to it depends on how frequent you use it but the quality is not ideal for well it is cheap so what do you expect expect I get my tongue twisted and say something or pronounce something different than it should be so this is the part is just like this like this one but the glue is a bit less gluey or less attached I, I can show you how this works but I don't want to remove my shirt and it comes with four of them this is the fourth one so this is the second one It takes time to even open it so this is it it is a bit sticky too it sticks to your skin and it helps a lot this it comes with a with a battery four but three batteries I mean sorry I've, I tend to lose the battery so that's why I put everything inside this ladder to make it organized you will let's put the battery in and see okay let's see yes it's working but it is in Chinese if you click on mod i think it will change it to english or oh, no that's not the english <laughs> okay this is the english part it says chinese or english so when you click on it it changed to english and it has about eight settings it has acupuncture it has stroke it has massage and it has cupping, coping, tripping, I don't know how to pronounce it. And it has immunotherapy and weight, re weight reducing. I don't think it will reduce your weight, so don't trust this thing. And it has scrapping and mani manipulation. It says my yeah it, it says manipulation so let me show you how to, how to use it this one is more it's not that hard but it takes a lot of i'm not going to wire it so i'm just going to show you how to set it up and you can put it how you want when you buy it it's not that expensive it's about three pounds or four pounds when i buy it when i bought it So you will you will put it this way and the other part the other bit you will put it this way and also you will, you will put it this way so how I did mine ideally I normally put this the the, the form of let me on it is i don't i don't know how they get all clocked all wired i don't like to okay it, it is over so i use this like this one come like together in one strain so i normally put so i normally put this let's say if i this one that are connected together i normally put one this side and the other on the other side and i will do the same with to the other two when you did that when you when you did that you can just turn it on you can pick your settings i don't think 
when they say stroke, I don't know what they mean by stroke because I haven't used it, but I normally use it for massage because I normally, I don't know about all the settings and I don't think it says what is. It's just advertisement, so don't expect it to do any acupuncture or any immunotherapy or weight reducing, especially not weight reducing. How can it reduce weight? By just massage. If, if a massage can reduce weight, a lot of people will be going to the spa. So man, the best thing I think it does is massage. So I normally put it in massage and it has 15 settings and it, it you can put it up to 15 minutes. So if you put it on the 15 minute timer, it will start counting down for 15 minutes and it has a 15 intensity too. Yeah, it has 15 intensity. So the more you are going going from 1 to 15, the higher the higher the intensity goes, the more the vibration and it's a little bit shockery that <laughs> it shocks a bit. That's what I'm I want to say. So it helps a lot in terms of back pain and I normally put it on my chest when I'm having a chest pain and I normally use it at home. I don't know why I bring it here but I thought I, 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 I will show you. I don't go around with it but the main thing is apart from all this gadget the important thing is to be able to take your medication and yeah to be able to take your medication. For me I normally go around I have two set of medication some i leave it at home and some i go i carry them around for example my poly acid i normally leave it at home because you only take it once so if i take it in the morning i don't need it again except well i don't take it twice that's what i'm saying and i have penicillin and i don't have paladrin here because mostly paladrin is where malaria is endemic so and in the UK there is no malaria, there is no mosquito. So I don't I don't take paladrin, but I only take penicillin and poly acid. So with my with my pen too, I normally take codeine. So I have used a lot of them. I have I only have like about a dozen before it finish. And this one I only have one. <laughs> the penicillin I only have about one because I this one you take it three times. I don't know why I want one penicillin left. I don't know. Maybe I, I missed idea that I didn't take it, which you shouldn't do. Another thing is your polyacid. This one I have about four left. I normally carry this ones around. I don't use it at home because I have another set at home. So if you have this or you are carrying this around, I think you will not you'll be able to take, do whatever you are doing or carry carry out your day-to-day -day activity without worrying about your skull cell disease and it will not affect you much. But with me, because of my disability, I have to carry them around and I, I have to make sure, especially the coding because if my skulls, if my joint pain started, even though this helps a lot, but it doesn't like instantly stop the pain, it takes like about an hour or two. And this one takes about 30 minutes, 45, not less than an hour. I will be up and running again. So what I'm saying is you all always take your medication and always, you should try this. If you try this, you can let me know down on my Twitter or down in the comment section whether how effective it is to you, but it is very effective, effective to me and I like it very much especially this i use this a lot i carry it around but this junk well it's not a junk but i don't carry this around because it's too wary and too cumbersome I, I cannot be carrying it all day and this one when i put it no one will notice i have it and the fun fact is about this if you put it in your bag you can sit down with your back laid on the chair or whatever and it will not stop the, the it will not turn up the 
massager or whatever this is mini pad it will not turn off the mini pad until it is done and i think this one takes about 15 minutes too when you on it and you put the intensity and everything after 15 minutes it will turn itself up automatically and for me hope most of the time it takes in 10 minutes time it reduced the back pain or my chest pain so whenever it turns up especially when i'm on the road or when i'm in class or when i'm presenting i will just leave it there sometimes i won't even take it off because it doesn't disturb me on my back even though it's not working it turns itself automatically but i still keep it i don't remove it till maybe when i'm done with what i'm doing when i'm done with classes or when i'm done with my presentation then i will go to the restroom and remove it sometimes i have to i, I will even leave it till i reach home so this one works pretty well too what next so i think that's the only things i'm going to show you on how i manage my mild skill cell crisis so when you are having your skill cell crisis if it is very painful or it is severe please go to the hospital don't follow this process this process doesn't work when you are having a severe skill cell crisis and you will when you are when you start the pain as a lot of skill cell suppress knows it is hard to think on your feet and it will be hard for you to say okay let me get my pad and wear it or the moment the severe started you will start crying or you will be in pain and you will start seeking for hospital you will be disoriented but that's what I'm saying when a severe sickle cell crisis started, at least for me. But I haven't had sickle cell crisis for over five years. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. With that in mind, I think I'm going to stop here and I will see you all in the next segment or next episode of Into the Web of Sickle Cell Disease. And have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe if you are interested in everything health related with time i will discuss more not just sickle cell disease and other i will talk about other diseases but for now i thought maybe i should at least show or explain how to manage this sickle cell crisis let me reach a comfortable point in sickle cell crisis before i started getting on to other topics or other diseases or other chronic conditions and at some point i will talk about disability too especially physical disability since i am disabled also i have a question for you if you down in the comment what do you call a one crotch is do you call it crotch or crotches because i i was talking i, I was shooting another video i wanted to say when i say crotches the other person said do you use two 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 crotches i was like no i use one but i wanted to use the singular form of crotches i don't know what the singular is or if there is a singular and i don't want to google so just if you know what you call it in english or in whatever language if they have singular form of a crotches tell me about it in the comment section and like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.